Hi everybody. Hey, it's a beautiful day, middle of October. Ain't many of these days left. Hey, I want to share a story with you that happened to me two days ago. It was the best big walleye bite I've had in years. Yeah, years. The last time I sat on a bunch of big walleyes like this was on the Winnipeg River system in the middle of fall like this quite a few years ago. Let me tell you the story. My friend Tom Longenecker, who, uh, who loves the walleye fish, and we get together a couple times a year. I said, Tom, why don't we take a run out to Lake X today and see if we can get a, a, a couple walleyes going. We haven't been there for a few years. So I said, yeah, yeah, let's go. It's a beautiful afternoon. So we get out there. I ran to three or four spots. I'm looking here. I dropped the line for 10 minutes on this one. I seen a couple fish, nothing happening much. I pull in one spot and we start going through it. Tom sets the hook, he catches the 24 incher. A couple flips later, moving through, he goes and he catches himself a 20 incher. I go just a little bit further and he misses another good fish. And I'm looking at the depth finder and I'm looking at my mega live and I say, there's a lot of big fish here. So we'll come back and fish this spot. We haven't been here. There's four other places that I know hold big fish in. Let's go look at these other four places real quick and then we'll come back. We know there's some fish here. We went, jumped to these other spots, put a line down, tried to catch this one, not much happening. It was an afternoon shot, I said, let's go back, let's go back to him, jerk, jerk on a couple fish, and we'll go to two more spots just before we pull up. We pull in there, he no sooner, I dropped the trolling motor, he drops it, he says, fish on, 26 incher. I spot lock, I take a picture with him, beautiful light, I get a shot, shot with the cell phone. I'm getting the, 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 the rappel out of the, the, the net. He's ready, drops his line down again. I go make a cat cast. I got mine, I got another one. Whoa, catches another, like a 27 incher. This went on, he had four fish. Bam, 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 and he missed two of them coming up and they were all big fish. And I'm looking, now let me get you through the rest of the story. I've got three rods rigged. He's got two rods rigged. One rod is with monofilament. Suffolk's 10 pound mono. It's got a number seven jigging wrap on it. All three rods are medium power, 7.1 inches. This one is the new Rappler jigging shadow wrap. It's on braid, 10 pound, 832, with a floral carbon leader material on it. This, this one is the same rod and reel, 832 braid, but it's got a number nine jigging wrap on it. I'm fishing with the braid on the school, the school of fish. I can't get a bite. Tom is dropping down. I'm on, Al. By the time we land the fish, another picture, I, I, I'm throwing, 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 fine. I says, enough is enough. He had fish after fish after fish. I could see him on the depth finder. I see him on a mega live. I go, I grab the mono with the number seven jigging wrap on it. The first flip. I get a 31 and a half incher. Yeah, 31 and a half incher. Been years since I got a walleye that size, believe me. For the next hour and a half, it was pandemonium. 31 and a half, 228s, three in the low 27s, 26, 25, 24, 24, 23, 22, 21. The dink was a 20 and he kept it for supper for him and his wife Eunice. And we put back, it was total pandemonium. I have not been on a big fish bite like that in a long time. It is amazing, amazing to see. I had this happen on a flip side one, doing a television show with Troy earlier this year, where if you didn't have braid on, you could not get a bite. He had eight fish before I had a fish. I was fishing mono, he had a braid. Moral of the story, these baits, mono is softer and it's spongier and it makes it's more forgiving of what it does with a bait. The bait does not move as fast. When you move anything with a braid, it moves. That bait reacts. Those fish knew the difference. If you were in the boat with me, you would have went, wow. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. And I hear more and more and more stories like this and I'm experiencing more and more. Why does it happen? I don't know. But here's the moral of the whole story. If you're out with a buddy, one guy fishes with braid, one guy fishes with mono, let the fish tell you how it is. And you're gonna, and, and then if you're alone or, or both guys are rigged, you should have each a mono rod and a braid rod. 
and play with a little, little, little bit. You will see a difference. It is unbelievable. Overall, I truly believe day in and day out, I can catch more walleyes with mono than I can with a braid fluorocarbon leader combo. Something to think about this coming fishing season. I have just finished having one of the most memorable days in my entire career in the fishing industry of monster walleyes.